time if you're a new time viewer can you click the subscribe button and also watch my videos i mean you don't want to miss out on them so on today's um live this is my first live actually i'm going to be tying a bridal fan and basically i just want to explain i want to um brief you guys on some things that you guys might not know i mean i see so many comments in the comment section and sometimes i cannot reply to everything so i'm going to be using this video as a medium to reply to some of those comments so um so many of us just um you know we've learned gilly one way or the other from a professional or an amateur and we never really can tell if we really got the craft and it's something to learn something and to know something sometimes we learn something and we don't get to know what we're learning or what we have actually paid to learn and sometimes it might be the problem of the um the teacher it might be the fault of the teacher and in other times it might just be um the the trainee that is not getting it right so i'm just going to be basically explaining some of the things you guys need to put into consideration before you can you know be very good with this gilly thing so number one is you need to know your material knowing your material comes with um um comes with knowledge it's not it's not like oh it's not like to say that okay this material is actually okay sometimes you need to know your material more than what the material is called we most of us know actually okay we know sego but do you really know your material no uh knowing your material comes in knowing the texture knowing the um patterns knowing the length knowing the um flexibility of your material um majorly in nigeria we have Ashoke, we have um, Sego and we have Ankara and these three fabrics are the most popular ones we use to tie Gilly in Nigeria here and so um, it's important to know that these materials they comes in they, I mean they come in different lengths different lengths and majorly we have the two yards we have the two quarter and we have the two and a half so you need to know those um, particular lengths that, because that is what will aid you to you know get the particular style you've been meaning to um to learn or you've been practicing and yet you're not getting it maybe you're using the wrong length maybe you're using the, a very short length also knowing your material um there's some material that are mid texture soft or hard uh it varies actually depending on the style of gilly you want to tie it varies what your material length because your material length is actually a determining factor to the outcome of your gilly also um sometimes most of us learn gilly and we think oh the fact that i paid for the craft the fact that i paid to learn a craft automatically i should know it of course you should know it but the thing is we forget the part um where it comes to play with us i mean we need to play that part our own self which is practicing Gilly is practice. I will say it over and over again. The more you practice these styles, the more you practice this particular um, craft, the more you get better. The more you get better. Um, start from the basics. The basics of round, um, bridal fan, um, ruffles, and so many other styles you need to know. And you can actually get those styles on my channel just go down my videos and you'll see each style so on today um on today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to tie the bridal fan in a more um more broader spectrum so many of us i mean i have bridal fan tutorial on my page but so many of us don't even know how to tie it or how to bring the the fans properly how to edge out your fans out properly so on this video we're in for that welcome guys let's get started all right guys so this is my model hi hi say hi hi <laughs> all right her name is Sahada and she'll be our model for today so let's get started so before you start tying Gilly of course like I said you need to know your material and that also boils down to knowing the length of your material like I said before we have two yards we have two quarter and we have two and a half so if I'm holding this material I should be able to know if this material is two yards two quarter or two and a half so how do you know because of the camera positioning I might not be able to show my leg but 
your measuring tape is your waistline down to your leg where you're standing so if you want to know if your material is two yards your material should measure from your waistline and it, your material should touch your ankle which is the ankle on your leg before it touches your sole do you understand so your material should measure from your waistline to your ankle and that is two yards if your material is two quarter which is the one longer than two yards your material should measure from your waist and the tip of your material should brush the floor should touch the floor so also if your material is two and a half which is the longest length your material should measure from your waist and you should have an overflow of your material on the floor so knowing that so if i'm gonna take this material now and i'm put it on my waist like this so this way i can know if my material is two yards two quarter or two and a half so i have measured this material although you guys cannot see it this material is two quarter two quarter because it measures from my waist and the tip of the material is touching the floor the tip is touching the floor all right so so for bridal fan your formula is 45 55 if so many people uh oh let me let me put it this way there are so many techniques of tying bridal fan but the most appropriate one the professional one the one you're going to i mean you're never gonna miss out on is this approach i'm about to teach you now and the formula is 4555 so before you get your 4555 all you have to do is simply fold your gilly in two halves so folding your gilly in two halves means you you're gonna have 50 50. that's on a stretch if your gilly is if you stretch out your gilly like this is 100 percent please let's note that in mind whenever you stretch out your gilly straight just plainly like this is 100 percent so once you fold your gilly in two halves it makes it 50 50. and don't forget i said our formula is 45 55. so having said that for 45 55 now this is your point 50. this is your point 50. and like i said 45 55 is your formula for bridal fan so on in this video i will be teaching you guys how to tie even better than um the the short tutorials i post because this is a real-time video so you guys can see every part of it all right guys so this is your point 50. now having said that this is your point 50 and you folded your gilly in two halves which is you're having 50 50 on every on both sides so to your left is the part you're holding you're holding this part to your left do not forget to your left not to your right this material is of two sides which is the left and the right but to your left hand that is where you are tying so open your left hand side like this and place it on your leg place it on your leg are you getting it so this is your point 50 all right so whenever you open your middle finger which is this and your index finger it is five centimeter so once you had five to 50 it makes it 55 and this you're doing it on your left hand side so let's do that now so if this is my point 50 and i had five like this open it open it very well let's do that again i'm sorry i don't want to change my camera direction so you guys can see so if this is your point 50 which is the middle and you open up like this this is five centimeter so we're gonna get 45 55 which is the formula so if i had five to 50 it makes it what it makes it 55 and if you're looking at the 50 now this is point 55 right now so if we're looking at it from this other angle it makes this place what 45 because to this side is 55 definitely to this side is 45 because the material is a full length of 100 now remember i said our formula for bridal fan is 45 55 which means that if you open your index finger like this if this is point 50 which is the middle of your fabric at uh, this definitely will now be what will be 45 55 so you need your 45 55 point to be in the middle of the person's head so then you had another five which makes it which makes it that you're holding 50 and you're holding 40 then 45 55 is the middle for no long story all you need to do is fold your gilet in two halves right 
let's forget about the formula because sometimes this this formula can be confusing but it's better you understand the fact that there's a formula attached but this other explanation we don't need to have the formula now since you guys have understood the formula part of it now all you need to do is fold your gilet in two halves the one on your left is with the one you're working with now take five five just open one two old ear and old ear and then you can start tying so let's start tying remember the style where tying is bridal fan all right so this bridal fan is going to be a v-shape routine so i base my gilly and i'm going to be taking six splits you can take minimum of five maximum of six All right, so, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. So guys, once you base, now you, we've based and we've based properly. Make sure you base properly. Make sure your gill is sitting on the airline like this so once you base like this you're good to go so let it go behind our ear because we're doing a v-shape routine Alright guys, so after basing, now note what we did, we based in the front, let's explain that again, we based in the front like this, then after, it goes behind the ear, because this is a V-shape routine, then after, we're coming to the back now, and we are going to be opening up, so you open up like this, can you see it, alright, so collect your pleats on both sides, one two so i've collected my pleats on that side then i collect my pleats on this side too i guess in it so the shorter hand always above the longer hand this is my shorter hand it's always on your right when you're standing at the back of the person so pull down all right so we're coming back to the front now now she can drop her hands from here all right so then this is going over this one is going over so collect your pleats on this side before you place it on top it is much easier that way So then we're placing it now. Are you getting it? So please you can comment below. Comment below if you're getting it. If you're watching this live, kindly drop a comment. Kindly drop a comment. Let's follow along with you. So collect your pleats. Now hold on. Alright, so guys. So all you need to do is align your pleats from this side to the other side so just collect your pleats one 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 sorry i have to change sides okay so you can see very well now so now look at what i did I arrange my pleats now make sure your pleats are well spaced they are evenly spaced if you look at my gilly you'll notice that each pleat is like i'm using a tape rule to measure the spacing so make sure your pleats are well spaced it, it adds to the beauty so it's not just for you to tie gillies for your gilly to 
be so so fine and you know well well arranged and neat so so on this corner here just pick your plate on top of each other and then you're going to be pinning down you're gonna be pinning to the scalp so let's pin now so with the help of my pin holder I'm going to pin so just take a pinch now how do I pin too many of you have always been meaning to see how exactly I pin but I've not been able to show you per se so look at this now focus on what I'm doing now this is the last fabric on top now this is my pin how do I pin I take my pin and I pinch I just take a pinch of that fabric on top let's do that again now look at it just a pinch of that fabric that's what I took now after taking a pinch of that fabric all you need to do is drag the fabric close to the base and take a pinch from the base too now look at my hands now take a pinch like this hey I dropped that let's do that again so that's the pinch now take a pinch of the base did I pinch your hair no. huh okay all right so you need to be careful when you're doing these guys so then you push in straight and that's all now look at it it's firm it. that's that's how to pin let's do that again I can't feel this. It's pulling your hair yeah. okay so make sure you pin carefully it's not pulling your hair anymore yes. now you guys can see now we're done pinning now let's move to the next part of it so the next part of it requires you taking four pleats from this side to the other side now don't forget to start your two-sided fans on your bridal fan Now this is the longer hand. Can you pause? I don't know if you can pause. You know what I'll do? I'm just gonna end and continue. All right, guys. Sorry. Um, I apologize. My data is almost used up. Kindly join this live again. I'll be going live in next few minutes. For those of you, you can watch this part of the video, then watch the next part of the video. Thank you so much.